if you're one that uses the native instruments controller the complete controller here this may be a video that boosts your workflow what's up guys kevin ella from kshawn.com real quick something that i use utilizing this keyboard that is very helpful to you guys some of you may know some of you may not know but if you have one of these keyboards the cool thing about this is you can utilize presets which triggers the lights to do whatever you want it to do give or take the different plugins you're using such as instruments or um, you can set it up to help you remember where different things are, you know, just what whatever you're trying to remember as far as music production. So one of the things that helps me is when I'm producing music, say inside of Studio One or Bitwig or whatever, right, I can set this thing up to trigger presets, which is this button, these two buttons here that says preset, and I could toggle between the different presets that I have. And it's basically lights that li lights up different areas to help you remember where things are. So for instance, like Arcade is one of them. I have a preset for Arcade. So you guys seen that video that I did recently. Arcade has this area where it uses from C all the way to the next C. And then your key switches live down below. So if I toggle down, I have this area selected where all of my key switches. I know if I hit the blue here, I'm out of the reach, right? It's not going to do anything. And I set this blue as well. So I know that any anywhere in the blue area, I'm not going to trigger anything. But the yellow and the pinkish or whatever fuchsia, I know that these are the main keys or the main control that's controlling the sample and key switches. So the way you set that up is uh, you just go inside of complete control. This is something you have to have downloaded to your computer. Or you, I mean, if you're using control, you have to have this in order to install everything. Basically, what you do is you go to the little MIDI icon here. And then right here is where your presets will live. So you just start a new one. I'm not going to start a new one. But uh, basically, you, you could just go here. Yeah. Okay. Let's just go ahead and start a new one. Whatever. We're going to call it template three. So in this template here, I can go where it says keys and it's going to give me a fresh blue slate, right? And then once I hit split, depending on the one that you're selected upon, it's going to split that in half, right? And I can go ahead and just split things up. This is where I can change the color between different ranges that I set. So say I want this to be lime and... I want this to be, I mean, it already populated colors by default, but say I want to change it up, you know, do something different with it. You can do that. And that's how you do that here. And you save it. Whatever you name it, actually, it just saves automatically. But I thought that was really cool. And then anything else that you want to do, you know, from here, if it's got something to do with touch strips or whatever, then, you know, you make your adjustments here. But this is this is a video just showing you how you can utilize these things. So, for instance, say I'm using uh, I'm gonna come out of this, say I go to the arcade plug in here. So this is my arcade preset. So I know that I have the future for my key switches and then I have. Right. So. Right, so those are my key switches right there. So I need to make an adjustment because it's actually hitting the F right here. So again, I can go in and just make that adjustment right quick. I'll just have to load up the complete control because it's actually hitting that F and it's blue here. Okay, so I'm inside my arcade here. We're going to go to keys. And I know right here, I want to bring this forward. So now I can see my adjustments here. Right? So again, Fuchsia Keys. Right? And so that's how I use the complete control. 
no more guessing as to where things are. So when you go octave higher or down lower, you know exactly where you are because you could be so far octave down or high. And, and, you know, as you can see, it's like, okay, okay, uh, okay, that's where everything is. So you have a, a visual of what's going on. This is something I thought was pretty cool. And I wanted to share it with you guys and I hope you got something from this video to help you enhance your music production workflow. My name is Ella from ksound.com. Remember music is art, you're the artist, paint your picture, stay creative without rules. Enroll right now and unleash the creativity that lies within you. ku.creative.com Creative University. Stay creative without rules one more thing if this voice intrigue you and the music make your soul move my name is ellen thank you <laughs> i'm done